Awe, I'm Curtis Bartis and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the full web-based application for Vala. I already did the mobile application. So if you want to familiarize yourself with the mobile application, the link will be down in the description and there will be a card on top. So today I'm going to show you the web-based application for Vala. So if you're new to the channel, Please do me the honor by subscribing and leaving a like on this video that will help the channel so much and also leave a comment on anything you want to know besides Valor. So hope you enjoy. So here we got the web based application for Valor. So this is the wallets tab once when once you sign up with my link of course down in the description. You will see the wallet tab this will obviously be zero by you you first gonna have to deposit money into your account as you can see Valor provide a portfolio composition as you can show you you see your BTC you see your ZAR and all other cryptocurrencies you had so this is quite a cool feature Valor offers as you can see here you got your Bitcoin you got your deposit you got your withdrawal here you got your Ethereum, you got your deposit, and you got your withdrawal. The same with XRP and ZAR. And here you got more cryptocurrencies. Like I already explained in the mobile application, the app version of Vala. So first of all, we're going to show the same steps as we did in the mobile application. How to deposit money into your Vala account. So first you're going to go to deposit. Here you're going to see deposit funds to your RAND wallet. So they're going to ask you which bank. You're going to say Standard Bank or if you're FMB, APSA, NetBank, Capitec, you're going to go to other bank. So here you're going to see the details you're going to put into the application on your online banking. So you're going to put Vala, you're going to make a new, what do you call it, beneficiary or whatever you do on your mobile application. You're going to say Vala. You're going to put the account. You're going to put checking. You're going to put banks, of course, standard bank. You're going to put the branch and you're going to put your unique reference, the one. Then you're going to say, I have transferred the account. It should take about a day or two, depending on the bank. So if you have standard bank, it should be instantaneously. But if you are other bank, it should take about two days. If you're doing it over the weekend, expect it the Monday. So that's how to deposit. So once you have money into your Valor account it should be displayed there on top depending on how much you deposited into your into your Valor account so next we got next we got if you see there on top you'll see wallets you see buy crypto you see exchange you got notifications and you got obviously you're gonna show your stuff so let's just go on to let's start from the side simply and move on to the exchange but like i said more features compared to the mobile application as you can see here we got by your name you'll see transactions this is all the transactions you did so far you'll see download csv and you have your filters next we got the exchange orders this is all the orders you have as you can see it, you, this is two ways of viewing this you can do it to the exchange or you can do it through this way this is all your completed orders and this is all your open orders and you can see I have no open orders at the moment once you got you got your wallet address book so this is where you want to deposit money into a certain address you're creating a new wallet to receive Bitcoin from another person like this then you'll get your bank account the next one like I said I said here you got your bank account you can see you have one day you can add as many as you want you'll say link bank account you'll say your name and then you will add your new bank account and this is where you're going to deposit money back into your bank account not like deposit onto Luno but back to your bank account once you have made some profit or so so next you got your referrals so referrals is when you invite a friend to the Vala application you get a reward and they get the reward now let, let's just see Vala's reward system as you can see they have a level O, level 1, level 2 and level 3 so level 1 is sign up with the referral code is when you sign up so if you're new to the Vala you'll get 
a 10% rebate on all your trading. That is quite cool of what Vala is doing. If you sign up with the link, link down in the description. So if you level two, if you have signed up with a link and now you're referring one of your friends, you get a 15%. If you refer, what do you call it? Two or more people, you get your rebate and you get 10% on the take a fees they trade on. So that is quite, it's like, what do you call it? The more people you invite, the more you get. That's the structure. So go straight to level 3 if you refer a friend, blah blah blah. You can read that for yourself. There is the code if you want it down in the description as well. Let's move on. Next week goes to price alerts. I already have shown this in the mobile application, but I just do it again. You create a price alert if you want, say, BTC is about you choosing Bitcoin, goes above. Let's be. 600,000, let's go six, let, no, 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 let, let's be ambitious, 700,000, one, two, three, push notification, you can see you have push and you have email, let's do both, create an alert, so when Bitcoin hits 700,000, I'll get an alert on email and on my phone, so next is settings, so setting is just your general settings on, it. like I'm not going to go much into detail, you have your general settings, you got your security, like I said, your reset password, disable two-factor authentication, API keys, block account, not much, you got, you got your support. So if you have, have any problems or not receiving, you have made a deposit or anything, you can contact the support on this tab. So I've gone through the thing, notifications is if you made a trade, notification tabs. Let's go into the simple buy before we go to the exchange where that is probably we're going to use the most but if you're not the person to use in front of a computer something the mobile application video will be for you so let's go back into buy crypto so you can see like i said they have a wide variety of cryptocurrencies compared to the competitor so here you got your bitcoin your ethereum xrp kadano your bitcoin cash your cello your compound your civic your dash so if you want to do bitcoin a market buy no exchange you'll just click on buy it's loading you'll say you want to buy bitcoin but what you want to buy it with czar once you have deposited you'll say okay let's but put we want to buy 300 rands of czar you'll say review buy and you can see you are paying 300 buy then you say confirm buy and then you will buy it like that same with sell you click on sell you want to sell BTC for ZAR or you can say for some, okay, they don't have the Ethereum yet. Do you say you want to sell 300 rands or what of Bitcoin? Look is the opposite amount. You'll just say not comma two three. So you can see it's equivalent to 250 and then you say preview sell. You are you sure the blah 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 basic stuff and you'll click sell. So this is just what you call a market buy or sell. But remember there's a little bit of fees, but if you use the referral code, you'll get a rebate, of course, of that 10% to 15%. So it's it's quite it's like a 0.2% fee, not quite much. So let's go back into the exchange. Here we go. Oh my, my eyes, there's a whiteness. Let's use dark mode. Here we go. So like I said, this might look overwhelming at first, but once you get into it, it's going to start to become a norm. So as you can see here, we got, we're going to split it into three sections. Here you got your left side. On the left side, you got your buy and your sell. The middle, you got your order book. And on the right, you got your chart. This is probably going to do your way. You want to see technical analysis. You got your 15 minutes. You got it by 30, 30 minutes. 30 minute chart you got your day like I said chart what technical analysis is a broader topic on on trading that's a trading topic this is not if you just want to buy and hold Bitcoin for the long term like an investment and not trade don't you wouldn't like keep it buy Bitcoin today keep it for about four or five months technical analysis won't be up your alley but I'm just going to explain it anyways. As you can see here, you got your bar chart, your yellow chart, your line chart, your area, your baseline. There you got your, most like I said, your, let's keep it to a one hour chart, that's more. 
Yeah, you got you. Let's keep it to one day. Here we go. Yeah, you got your indicators. So you can see you get your Fubonacci. The money flow not way is the okay, but like I said, I'm just gonna keep it at that. Let's start on the middle budget. Your order book, like you probably heard this a lot. Order book is all the sell orders here on top. And here we got all the buy orders. This is the market. You got my trades. So I'm just gonna do a make you a maker in the market trade quickly to example for you. So say we're gonna buy Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin at the moment is 380 days. 318,000 618,000 wow so you want to put a trade around 615 and we want to use 50 percent of our current czar so you'll say place order and once you go back into your open orders you'll see here your open order of 615 of 50 percent of your current holding so you can see I made a trade of 357 Rand so once Bitcoin hits that price I'll buy that Bitcoin more Bitcoin so okay let's say we want to sell some Bitcoin you'll go back to sell okay we want to sell when Bitcoin hits 700 and we'll get an alert also about the price alert one two three and we want to sell 50 percent of our current holdings on Bitcoin so that's going to be 529 rand so we'll say place sell order as you can see the our sell order popped up so we'll sell when bitcoin is 700,000. so the great thing about vala is when you do the trading like this they pay you so when you do the market buy you pay the 0.2 percent in fee but now when you do the trade like this they pay you a 0.1% so the 0.1 to 0.2 is so they don't lose they do the they what do you call it they breaking even because if they take 0.2% from the takers they can give half of that to the makers so they breaking even on trading fees so do most of your trades like this you will not pay fees like that but sometimes the market goes volatile and you want to buy the Bitcoin faster that's why do a market buy instead I explained this already so there we go I'm just gonna place another sell order so let's be ambitious again when Bitcoin hits 750,000 I want to sell my whole holding so there we go we will sell 566 place sell as you can see now I have two sell orders so if 700 the first one will be hit if 750 my second second sell order will be hit and I'll get what you call it a 0.1% maker fee on both. So 0.1 is not a lot. It's about, you can say it's about five rand or something, 50 cents. I'm not even sure, but you'll get 0.1% on this 500. So that's on top of your sell, you're getting a 0.1% maker rebate. So here we go. We'll buy. We'll buy one Bitcoin. Let's be. What they call a little bit bearish on the scenario. Let's say Bitcoin goes back to 550,000. We put it, we did put a five, so let's say 550. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll wanna, we want to buy 100% of our um, current czar. We'll say place by order. And if you go back to our open orders, you'll say there, there is our 550 of our buy so that means when bitcoin goes down remember what goes up must come down and what goes down must go up don't think of it like that so there we go there's the open world like i said but vala is not a trading platform i would advise something like femix bybit coinbase or binance where you can do some margin trading so i won't, won't recommend luno and vala for trading more like just but like i said if you're not going into trading just want to buy and hold for the long term this is it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video this video if this video gave you any value to an uh, insight on the Vala application please hit the subscribe button and also leaving a like and also don't forget to comment any other thing you want to know or just 
messaging, DMing me on Instagram. So until next time, peace.